So open the altar and unfold the table. So you can see the whole thing is made to be able to be compact. And uh, there's two notches here that allow you to lift up these sides easy, easily. And it lays pretty flat. This has a slight, it, it has a slight angle leaning back like that, which I imagine will allow you to display artwork there. Lay out the cloth and devotion guide. So here's the cloth, which fits right over here. And devotion guide, what's that? Place meaningful personal and spiritual items on your altar and set intentions. So I am gonna place for now Hmm. For now, I'm going to place my Malachite Buddha. This is just a Malachite object, the Dorje, and an image of another kind of image of Prajnaparamita. Uh, Prajnaparamita is the mother of all Buddhas, the perfection of wisdom. Cleanse your sacred space with the oops, sage spray. Oh, this is just, this drawer is just packed. It's packed. Here's a candle, two candles. Um, these are the I think it comes with seven chakra crystals. Mm, everything has a clean and beautiful scent. Ooh, and these are the chakra crystals. Wow, folks, this is really, really beautiful. So we have crystal, the clear. This is... Mm, turquoise, I guess. I'm not sure what all these... I don't know my crystals very well. Um, so we have our chakra crystals. Beautiful. Now, what's this? Oh, this is the bag that you can carry the whole altar in. It expands out, and so you can wrap the whole altar. When it's folded up, it can be carried and transported in this bag. So it's technically portable. Um, and I can spray, sage spray. This needs opening. So if you, you know, if you don't have sage at hand to burn, um, in the hospital we use these sage sprays all the time, not this brand particularly, but, uh, but other formulations. And we use this because you can't actually burn things in the hospital, right? But we occasionally have families and patients, oh, look at that. This kind of, ah, uh, oh. Kind of like a bamboo, bamboo, see how this works. Hmm. I feel like I should be able to... Directions, maybe I read that. Shake well before each use. But how do I open it? Ah, there we go. <laughs> I'm a pro. <laughs> Kids don't try this at home. Um, so we occasionally at the hospital have patients or families who want to smudge their space. Um, but uh, so we use... Um, sage sprays instead of actual burning of sage. So mm. wonderful. And then I do feel like um, now in some ways I have a altar that feels exactly what I want it to be. Um, but Oh, mm, what's, this is beautiful smelling. 
again, it's sort of, I think this is the scent that I was smelling the whole time. It's very clean. It has a little citrus. I don't know. I don't know my essential oils. It doesn't say what, oh yeah, it does. Eucalyptus mint. Okay. So I guess that's what it smells like. It's eucalyptus mint. Um, Yeah, they're both, so two eucalyptus, eucalyptus mint candles. In some sense, I do feel like this, what this um, altar really needs is some flowers, something living. But there you go. A beautiful, transportable home altar that could go in any room at all. Um, hopefully on the highest surface that is available. And that would then allow me uh, to uh, create a sacred space in that, in that area. Um, it's beautifully made. It really feels well-crafted. And the drawers allow us to transport what we need to transport.